All right, hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be part lucky number seven of our Let's Play Blend Blendenburg Brandenburg series here in EU4. Uh, I am all as always Anthor, and um, let's see. I don't know where we last left off. We uh, helped Austria out in a couple of wars, did some stuff. Uh, we are uh, about a third of the way done on annexing uh, both the Teutonic Order and Mecklenburg, which gave us a big, big boost to our tax income, and probably a big. Uh, We'll get some nice, uh, some more power in the Baltic Sea trade node, and a little bit more in Lubeck, which will be awesome. Uh, and hopefully down the line we'll be able to take uh, Lubeck from the Hansa, which would be super. They're allied with Poland. I wouldn't mind beating up on Poland either. Do I have a, let's see, do I have any, uh, uh, who has Conquest on Bohemia, Trade Dispute on Bohemia and Brunswick Gallery. No, we should probably start fabricating on these guys while we're waiting. Uh, let's go ahead, fabricate on Lubick. And we can't... Oh, yeah. I guess because our vassal's next to it. Let's go ahead and get that uh, going just so we have it. And uh, that'll be good. Okay, Brunswick's no longer... Mecklenburg wants a royal marriage. I'm not going to do that. We don't need to do it. We are already in the process of annexing them. Not really a point. Which is nice. Pomeranian is an accepted culture. Uh, Prussian will definitely be an accepted culture once we uh, once we integrate the Teutons here because they have huge huge tax base. Uh, what do we get here? Sickness of King Elbrecht the Fourth Achilles has fallen ill and cannot handle the aspects of ruling Brandenburg for the time being. How shall we handle this? So you can either get some production efficiency or some trade efficiency. I'm thinking at this moment, production efficiency is probably going to do more for us because we're making a lot more money on tax. Uh, so we'll do that. Let's see what we get out of it. Oh, production. Never mind. I should have done trade. Derp, derp, derp. These things happen. Uh, yeah, so things are going well. We're, uh, Brunswick declared war on Bohemia. Yeah, Brunswick's getting pretty big. I actually wouldn't mind Bohemia smacking them down a little bit here. I should start fabricating down here as well. Maybe I can get Austria in on that, on that war. I might as well. Quit taking my Cardinal France. Now, we are the Curia controller, although probably not for much longer. Um, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, we cannot actually fabricate claims on Brunswick because we do not share a border with them directly. Thought maybe we could do Hanover or something, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's going on here. Imperial authority is getting pretty high. Um, Austria likes us. I think we topped out relations, right? Yeah, pretty good. Separate piece is pissing them off. Allied to rival. Um, Lithuania. Oh, they rival Lithuania? That's stupid. Um, we're still rivaled by Poland and by Denmark. Oh, no. No longer rivaled by Denmark. Interesting. Oh, wow. That was a quick, quick Casas Bell either. Uh, so I think I'll remove... Uh, Denmark from my list, and then we'll also, uh, let's go ahead and revoke the embargo so that we don't have to, um, we don't have to have them angry at us, and, uh, I think maybe, who's Poland's enemies, Bohemia, Hungary, Silesia, they are still allied with Lithuania, right, yeah, and the Hansa, I feel like maybe rivaling Poland wouldn't be a bad idea. Ugh, oh, I'm not gonna be able to keep this stupid cardinal. France is pouring on the pouring on the stuff. Uh, make Saxony vote for us. Manpower needs to recover. Probably not gonna happen. We're gaining how much a month? 217 is not bad. Um, we should probably build some more armories. Now uh, we're gonna save up actually for maybe a march or something. Build a march in Osteprusen. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, March is a tricky building because if you're going to keep expanding anywhere, you're going to have problems. Uh, if you're no longer, if the March is no longer on land that is uh, bordering another country. So, like, if I put it in Asaprasen and took all of these other, probably a good place to put it though, because I don't think I'm going to take five counties from Lithuania. I don't know. Come on. All right, if France takes him, then we're fudged. Uh, let's go back and see if anybody has pissed off the Pope lately. See if we can't excommunicate someone. 
Um, he loves France. That's for sure. Um, all of those guys are not Catholic. Good Genoa, Savoy, Venice. None of these guys are really enemies of ours, so it's kind of pointless to do it. Uh, so at the moment, we are allied with Muscovy, Lithuania, uh, which is a pretty good setup for us, I think. Especially if we have to go to war with Poland, although we would not be able to get Lithuania to come in if we went to war with Poland. Uh, so the only way Lithuania would come to our side is if Poland declared war on us. Uh, but potentially we could go to war with like the Hansa, which would call Poland in, which would keep uh, Lithuania on our side. So we've got that. We got that cause spell right now. Let's um. Okay, so it looks like they probably. Austria is helping out against Bohemia in the Brunswickian Bohemian War of Anna. Of Anna. <sighs> yeah, so Bohemia's getting their butt kicked. That's good. But Brunswick's getting a little bit big for its britches. We're going to have to go and smack them down a little. We would definitely not be able to vassalize them. We might be able to get a county or two um, and then make them release some stuff down the road. It's not the biggest deal for us. Oh, I love our general. We got an event that gave us a general with 100, uh, as if we had 100 tradition, which is really nice. Uh, let's take a look at our tech and stuff. Uh, we're still eight years ahead on military, so we'll be able to get another uh, military idea here next. And we're also pretty far ahead on admin. Yeah, eight years ahead there as well. Come on, France. Uh, we might just be able to stay in front of France. Danzig still has Patriot Rebels. Uh, hopefully that'll stop when we integrate when the country they would like to join uh, is part of our country. So that should be okay. Uh gonna be really really nice once we get once we get the two tons incorporated it's gonna be nice and nice and good looks like austria lost some imperial authority probably had to say no to somebody uh, we could possibly get baden the palatinate to vote for us although i think we maxed out relations with these guys and we had not not maxed we've got a couple free diplomats let's keep uh keep improving relations with them and what about you guys yeah we could totally get some more yeah, let's do that Fortifications, no. Local defensiveness in Danzig would go down, or we'll lose 10... Ugh. Losing so much army tradition. Alright, so we are just able to keep ahead of France here, um, with the way things are at the moment. And Patriots in Danzig. So we're apparently immediately dead. That's interesting. Okay. That's kind of weird, but I'll take it. So we're going to gain another 7, uh, another 10 guys when we incorporate these two, which is going to definitely put us over our unit limit, but uh, we'll deal with that when it happens. We're going to get a bunch of boats, uh, but the boats we we'll probably be able to support because we're going to get a lot of uh, coastal high uh, tax base provinces, uh, so that'll be super nice. Oh, there's the idea. Get our next offensive idea. We're going to get manpower modifier. Beautiful. Oh, nice. And we got the uh, stability cost is cheaper now as well. We are up to two stability, and I don't think I've done that in quite a while. It's been all uh, really lucky events that we've gotten. We started off the game with some really crappy events that cost us a lot. Managed to get... Oh, see, France is starting to pull ahead now. Golden Horde is occupying the Ottomans? What? Oh, I see. So they're kicking the Mamluks' butt, but the Golden Horde is coming up and doing a little bit of damage. And the Mamluks are going to be completely absorbed by the Ottomans here at some point soon. Uh, but we're just going to hang out, be Brandenburg, and not uh, get our butts kicked just yet. I haven't seen this in a lot of the games I've played as... Uh, well, in a few of the games I've played as the HRE and a lot that I've seen. There hasn't been this kind of blobbing of a lot of the... I mean, there's a few miners left, but usually it's all one or two province guys. Quite a bit of growth. Emi is getting their butt kicked. Um, I'll give up the Diplo points for Mercantilism. That's good. Making almost seven gold. That's really good. We didn't lose our guy, did we? No. Like, maybe we should get a Diplo guy. Oh, this will help us. Yeah, let's get this guy. Um, it costs a little bit of money, but it's going to be worth it. Let's see, declare war on Bohemia. Take a decision. 
It's the Liquor Act. The ability costs increase. Tax increase. So sometimes I'll take these two uh, in conjunction because you end up getting 8% uh, cheaper stability, but then you lose some of that. So you end up with a net gain of 3% cheaper stability and a net gain of 1% increased tax. Um, so overall, it's not bad. It's a, it's a net gain. I don't know, though. We'll leave it be for now. Maybe later. Um, yeah, so we're going to save up some money. We want... Oh, they passed the Anti-Piracy Act. What are their ideas, anyway? I don't know. Not that it matters, because they're going to get incorporated, but... Um, where... Oh, ideas, too. Divine ideas, religious ideas, huh? Now they're going to lose that when they become part of me. Give me some good missions. Nope. Good, good, though. I think we're doing okay overall. Uh, Lithuania loves us still, for the most part. Muscovy should still like us pretty well. Why are they mad? Tolerated heretics, allied to rival. The rival Lithuania. Yeah, I'll drop Lithuania if I have to. I think Muscovy would be a better ally in the end, anyway. And Denmark. Denmark's going to be strong. Vassals Bremen, personal union with Sweden. Problem is when, at some point, Denmark and I are going to share a border, and that's going to piss them off. Austria, Austria is still at war. Brunswicky and Bohemian War of Anna. Yeah, it's about to end, though, because... Bohemia's, man, Bohemia got knocked down to size. Oh no, they haven't actually. Yeah, if they could go ahead and like siege these three and release, uh, return them to Bavaria or something, that would probably be a nice idea. Um, we are still, oh, yep, I almost forgot. Keep France from taking that guy away from us, if we can. So we're still quite a bit away, well, we could totally form Prussia, um... We're gonna get Ostaperson, and if we reform uh, to the, or if we get to be Protestant, then we can totally form Prussia. Not to see how that whole thing goes. Usually, I like to reform. It's keep attack and oh, Hungary just declared war on Bohemia, and we lost the trade dispute. Oh, Bohemia is effed. Looks like uh, Cilicia is about to cede Wittenberg to Brunswick. See Bermuda to Austria. Ugh. Wow. So Austria just got much, much stronger. They took a bunch of land down here. Papal states are occupying Venice. Interesting. Got a papal republic. I'm just not gonna make any crazy moves until we, uh, until we incorporate these guys. Uh, so yeah, so we're making, we're still making 580 even with two advisors. It's really good. I get them quite a bit in the admin side of things. Oh, France, quit it. This guy's gonna die without ever reaching the Curia, guaranteed. Now we're just one over our diplomatic relations right now. We're about to be one under. Wania. Oh. Things are okay. Once we top off relations with these uh, electors. Yeah, see, we've already got uh, Baden voting for us. Potentially get the Palatinate. Very dispute against Brunswick. Yeah, yeah. me and Brunswick are going to go to war soon. I don't even want to take anything from them necessarily. Just eat them up. Unless I can get Austria on my side. Austria is now at peace. I don't even know if I have a Casas Ballet against... Oh, I do for this one. Wittenberg. Oops. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot to set a timer. Crap. I was doing so well, guys. Alright, let's assume that we're like six minutes in. Probably more like ten. Oh, incorporate, you jerks.
Yeah, so after we incorporate these guys, we're probably going to have to go over here and improve relations a little bit. Uh, no, we should be fine, actually. We released these guys in peace, so we got a huge bonus with them. I'll uh, probably need to go over here, though. Baden. Yeah, let's get, uh, Baden's almost done. And then we'll send him over to... Oh, there we go. Recall. Send you over to here. Right. Should be able to soak up any of that major uh, malice for annexing a member of the HRE. <sighs> All right, what tech? Yeah, we're still way, way ahead, five years ahead. So we're just gonna chill out on the let our admin points build up a little bit more. When we get to nine, 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 we'll see where we're at. Could potentially build some buildings. What I was thinking about saving up for an embassy or something. Uh, embassy is like a thousand gold. Sale of indulgences. Wachim the second Hector was compelled by his father, Wachim I Nestor, to sign an inheritance contract in which he promised to remain Roman Catholic. Wachim Nestor had co-financed his younger brothers, the Archbishop Elector Albert of Mainz, elevation to the Episcopal See of Halberstadt, um, and accumul accumulation of the sees of Mag Magneburg and Mainz by incurring huge debts with the bank banking house of Fuga uh, in order to pay the Holy See. The, to pay off the debts, Joachim Nestor agreed to recover these costs from the population of his electorate by permitting the sale of indulgences. So we can get, wow, until my guy dies, I can get 5% tax and some papal influence, or just lose one. Yeah, why would I not do that? How old is my guy, anyway? I don't think he's too old. 27, oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, he's got zero freaking military score, which sucks, but yeah, we'll definitely sell some indulgences, make some money, get some papal influence, keep France off of our dude. It's all good stuff. Speaking of, next month we'll be able to get that back. Oh, what is that? Yep. Oh, our royal marriage with Lithuania ended. Okay. Now here's where we consider, do we want to continue that royal marriage? We could get rid of them. And potentially get somebody else, but they're pretty strong. We could get Denmark in the short term, which might help us against the Hansa. Um, they like us now. Passasbella. They are rival with France, England, and Muscovy, so it's still going to piss off Muscovy. Poland still has us rivaled. No, nah, I think we'll just continue, um, continue along with Lithuania. I don't see any negatives to that, really. Okay, active cardinal. Bohemia is now the papal controller. So we just lost our... There it is. That sucks. If we get a, if the next guy is our guy, then maybe we'll get to be papal controller again. How is the reform desire going? <clears throat> That's almost 70%. Okay, hold up. Uh, Mecklenburg, no. I will take the revolt risk. I don't mind. It's only going to really be in Danzig. Yeah, just Danzig. Jeez, man. France is a jerk. Uh, okay. So let's see, accept a peace. Oh, cool. Yeah, Bohemia has gotten chopped down to size. That's what happens if you expand too quickly. Brunswick's going to be next. Yeah, actually, I'm going to rival Brunswick. Who are your enemies? Lundberg, the Hansa, Teutonic Order, Gallery, Trier, Brandenburg. That might actually help us with some of the electors as well, getting them on our side. Helton, it's voting for who? Ansbach, okay. Austria is still winning. Uh, if I could get one more, I need two more guys probably to vote for me. But we are about to integrate the Teutons and the Mecklenburgians. I guess that's how you would say that. Uh, so we're about to get infinitely more powerful. Let's take a look, actually, real quick before that happens. We're making seven, 778 a turn. Boom, integration. All right, so we just got Mecklenburg. Um, let's see. That's awesome. Very good. Pomerania's accepted. How much did that piss off everybody? 
annexed a member of the HRA. Minus 25, yeah. So we're going to... How long does that take to burn off? Let's, see. Let's, see. Let's check Austria. Uh, 1.4 a year. Yeesh. So it's going to be like 12 years before that's gone. Well, maybe a little bit less. Like 10 years. That's not too bad. So in like 10 years, we'll start integrating these other two. Uh, let's take a look here at our units. We are now 3, 2 over. Um, let's go ahead. We'll get rid of... Get rid of the horse and one of the longbows. And those guys down. Then we'll move those guys over. Um, still how many years ahead? Five, still five years ahead on this. Jeez. Or we're going to have to spend these points. That sucks. Alternatively, I can build a bunch of admin buildings, which I think might be a good idea. Oh, you know what we can do? Let's see. What's our inflation like? Can't reduce inflation. We could boost up to three. Uh, stability for a while. That might not be bad. It's going to cost quite a bit, but I, I really don't have anything else to spend the admin points on right now. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. And then um, maybe build a couple of admin buildings. Constables. Good. And then that's admin as well. Not really a big increase anywhere. Marketplace is diplo power. The hell was that? All right, things are making weird sounds in my my apartment building. I think maybe a courthouse is a good idea in Danzig, but I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we're we gonna do. I right, we need to check these boats. We got two trade ships up here that are currently patrolling Lubeck. So let's take you guys. And we're gonna come down to Mecklenburg. This is also this is a galley. Cool. All right. So we'll uh we're gonna combine these idiots with my fleet up here put all these guys to patrol the baltic sea so we can pull as much trade forward there as possible and then uh the next chunk of boats we get from these guys is going to be just five galleys yeah we're gonna have to break down some galleys and build some more caravels i think uh good so we're pulling yeah we're pulling like seven gold forward that's really good Integration, very nice. Now that one shouldn't have pissed anybody off because these guys were not HRE members. Now we're big old Brandenburg. Okay, you two come over here. Let's take a look at our build. Uh, 50, 150, 150, 150. All good stuff. Um, units. We are three units over. That's actually not too bad. And we got their boats, which are all galleys, I think. Yeah, so we're just going to stand down all of these guys. Take a look at our naval limit. We've got, uh, we can get eight more boats. How many, how many Carricks do we have? We have three heavies. That's enough for us for the short term. So let's go ahead and do one, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Good. All right. And you guys have what? No cannons. We're going to take... Collect these guys, stand them down. Good. Then we'll be at twenty, like twenty nine thousand men. It's pretty good. We might go up uh, once Russian becomes an accepted culture. I think this should happen. Oh, it is already. Yeah. Okay. Good. Cool. So yeah, twenty nine out of twenty nine. Building more boats. Gonna have lots and lots of trade power. Oh, what are you? You guys a horse? Yes, you are. Okay, we can keep them. Everybody go to Danzig. Got super high base tax. The 30,000 men, not too shabby. Oh, we're like about 50 years in. It's pretty good. And there we go. Two star general, 30,000 guys. Definitely built some more cannons when we get the. Force limits, but I think that's a pretty good um, makeup of our army right now. Ah, very good. Plus three stability. Oh yeah, that's where that huge jump in income. Making almost 10 gold a month. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, what are our ideas? I know we have offensive. We also have diplo ideas. Next one. 
I want to get to this diplomatic reputation it would be really nice on just demands and stability for breaking royal marriages not being a huge thing would be super nice. You pretty much have to have Diplo ideas if you're going to play as an HRE member. You guys all meet up here, please. Oh, let's uh, get our guy back. Oh, France is still way ahead of us. Derp. Whoa. What? Alright, group up. And patrol in Lubeck. Let's see where that goes. We've Right now we've got... Right now we're collecting... Three gold. And now we're collecting six gold. Denmark has got a lot of power here. We've also got a lot of ships. It's alright. We're making... Yeah, 11 gold a month now. Awesome. Probably afford... Oh, yeah, we needed a military advisor. Uh, morale... Morale looks good. Let's get that guy. We do not need an admin guy right now. So cool, things are going well. Uh, these guys are a little pissed. Annex Vassal. Oh yeah, so it was minus 75. Jeez, that's rough. We're going to wait for that to burn off. These guys still like us, though. That released in peace thing is really handy. So I think we'll pull both of those guys in at the same time. Uh, the next round of stuff. That should be groovy. What's up? Still four years ahead, but now we can we have some time to spare. We are way behind in uh, Diplo Tech. What's this one? Colonial range and naval morale. So I think we'll take a we'll take the idea, the next naval idea or Diplo idea, and then we'll worry about the tech next go around. I think we need to declare war in Brunswick. Who would come? Would Austria? Why not? They're mad. You mad, bro? Beating great power? Ugh. Yeah. Might be time to drop Austria as an ally and uh, maybe pick up uh, Denmark. Denmark still likes us. I would very, very... very uh, we are, actually, we should be one under our Diplo. Yeah. We need to improve relations with Muscovy. Relations, go. Yeah, we can get another 50 there. That'll be good. We can also get Hungary in on our side. If I were to go to war with the Hansa, would anybody join me? I think Lubeck, Poland would come in and fight me. Austria and Lithuania would both come in. Okay. That seems like a thing that should be done. Let's move our guys over to Mecklenburg. Let's crank our... Uh, this up. Yeah, we'll crush the Hansa, we'll take Lubeck, and uh, should be, we'll be able to core that for an ex incredibly expensive amount of money, but it'll be worth it. Um, I don't think we have any Hanoverian provinces, but these guys are, so when all three of these are incorporated, we should be groovy. We have to full morale? Awesome. All right. Declare war, we'll take Lubeck. Uh, we're going to call in Lithuania and Austria. Declare. Got our awesome dude over here. Get him, get him, get him. Uh, gain reform desire. Nope, we'll do that one. Want a naval battle? That's always good. Lost a claim on Bohemia, not a huge deal. Finish off the Hansa. Good. And then let us select the army. We're gonna take what? We're gonna take all of the cannons. Take four cannons and two infantry. We'll take the rest of the guys. Oh, they're already being done by our by our vassal. Good. This war should be over quickly. I could potentially hmm. Yeah, I might actually uh, vassalize these guys. I think that might be a good idea. 
<clears throat> but then I can just integrate. I can diplo vassalize them. It's gonna piss off everybody the same amount anyway. Uh, we'll hold off on that idea to make sure we have enough diplo power to uh, do our demands. Oh, this is gonna make us so much money. Oops. Um, those guys are okay. Good. Poland is being occupied by Austria. Lithuania is not really coming over. Did we destabilize them? I bet we did. Probably cost them something. Uh, do you have any ideas? They have seven ideas. Three defensive, four trade. Hmm. How are we doing? Like, military attack, we're at eight. Lithuania is at seven. Poland's at seven. So we're about equal with our neighbors. Boo. We should be blockading them. Uh, you guys. Stop what you're doing for a second. Give me one heavy. The rest of you go back to protecting trade in Lubeck. And my one heavy, where you at? Come here. You come here. Um, yeah, that should be fine. What are these? Yeah, two transports. I think we'll be okay. Hey, free tax. 10% tax. Beautiful. Yep, nothing else we really need right now. Now they are blockaded. Got a big old fort level, though. Our leader does have... Uh, oh, that's part of the problem. Recall. Um, move everybody over. This guy, go here. He has the leader who has two siege. Help. There we go. Getting plus three now. That should go a lot faster. Oh, uh, we can invest in a cardinal. Do we still have our dude that we're fighting with France over? You indeed. I feel like just taking Lubeck might be a good idea. But I don't know, we'll see about that. We'll see what the AE and the overextension and stuff looks like. We do have lots and lots of admin points right now. We're only two years ahead, though. Alright, we got a cardinal. Suck it! We've got two. We are not Papal Controller, though. Oh, Poland insulted us. Poland. Alright, so we're 100% with the Hansa. Let's see if we can't get anything from these guys. No, they don't... We don't have enough war score to do anything. Alright, so Hansa. Now we could annex them. Just give us 15 uh, aggressive expansion. Where's Austria? Only 4 with Austria. That's not bad at all. That's probably a good idea. Uh, we could also... What? If we just took Lubeck... Less aggressive expansion. Yeah, it's a little bit less aggressive expansion. There's a lot of overextension, though. Uh, but I think we could afford to core it. So do we go long-term and slow? The problem is I have to I have to integrate these two idiots at some point. I could fully annex them, too. How much is that? It's 26 aggressive expansion. Once again, not with anybody I care about. It's going to be really expensive to... or What do we do? 88% overextension. That's really expensive. Yeah, it looks like we captured a few ships. Uh, what should we do? If we just take Lubeck, we can get how much money from them? 163, and their trade power, and the null treaties with Poland, and what else? Anything else good? And Utrecht, why not? Cool, okay, actually this seems like a good idea. So we'll take a little bit of aggressive expansion, um, not significantly bad overextension. 
We'll get lots and lots of money. That sounds good. It's going to piss off some people because we're going to take land in the HRE, but uh, Austria shouldn't ask for the land because we had them in the war with us, so that is good. So we immediately start coring for 183 admin points. Very expensive. They're semi... They're semi-accepted, so that's good. We can go ahead and take this next idea. And then we are only how many years away here? Two more years, and then we can take this. Good. Everything worked out swimmingly. Uh, let's take a look here. We got our heavy. Where's the other single boat at? What are you? Trade ship? You. 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 Here. Go here. I don't know if anybody needs repaired or not. Cool. I think that went well. Uh, okay. And you guys can go ahead and patrol Lubick. And we are now making quite a bit of money. See what happens once we get our ships back in action. Which is going to take a while because I have to repair. Probably the beginning of next month. Weren't super damaged. Back out there. Let's see. month tick a lot 12 gold with full army maintenance my goodness making money let's take that down make 14 gold got lots of money let's use it to build stuff shall we do some more admin stuff constables 40 180 um mum 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 I think we're okay. We still have Revolt Risk and Danzig. Oh, Lubex, we got a ton of Lubex. You know what? Danzig, build that. I'm sick of that. Cool. And so, just uh, one more year and we'll be able to get our next admin tech. Shouldn't hit 900 by then, so all good there. Uh, still good here and here. Awesome. Uh... Yeah, I figured that would piss off Denmark. They probably rivaled us again. Yep. Mm, improve relations. Improve relations. We'll just top those off. <sighs> Pissing people off. It's what we do. So now we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for the Protestant Reformation to happen. Because we're going to maybe form Prussia just because they have a badass flag. Yeah, look at that big old coastal Brandenburg. Maybe we should go and fight the Livonians as well. I don't really want to short share a border with Muscovy though. That's scurry. We got some good allies though, as long as they don't break their stuff with us. Let's see, we're still one under our our limit. I wonder if there's anybody else we could potentially diplo vassalize. Man, that tax base thing is bullcrap. You've only got three counties. Who's little? Anhalt, potentially. They're already a vessel of Hesse. Uh, cool. I would very much like to go to war with Brunswick, not take anything, and just break them up a little bit. Let's see what the uh, possibilities of that happening are. Diplomat is back. I wouldn't go to war with them unless uh, Austria comes. Must give you Lithuania. Oh, well, potentially I could because I wouldn't need to take anything from them. I just want to... Who are you allied with? Question. Oh, they're allied with Austria. That's the problem. Austria? Oh, Austria does not hate me that much. That's pretty good. You know, we're making the money. Let's see about supporting some rebels somewhere. I like that idea. Orthodox zealots, no. Denmark, no rebels to support. Brunswick, ah, uh, it's not really that much, and they've definitely got enough men to put it down. Are you at war? You are at war. Oh, Trier, yeah, let's might as well support some rebels while we're at it. It's like a whole buck sixty-two a month. I think we can handle it. Cool. 
Um, cool, so one more year to get our admin. What's this? We're going to lose some buy defense, but we'll get lots of tax. I like money. Any disputed succession we need to worry about? Nope. Crete. Crete's still around, huh? Yeah, might as well get these buildings here and here. Patriots in Lubick. Oh no, 12 old Patriots. Guys, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna wait a month and. Oh, why would you do that, you idiots? Oh, get in there. Stupid vassals. Go wipe them out. Go over here. Why aren't you guys grouped up? Drop down maintenance again. Good. Yeah, we're making good uh, progress toward coring this. We can potentially get a guy. Start investing here. And uh, I think when our guy gets back, we're gonna go back to the Pope and make some friends. Top off that so we can get some more papal influence. Good to stay in good with the Pope uh, until the Reformation happens. Man, France is big in this game. Yeah, France would potentially be our friend. Yeah, let's let's go talk to France. If we lose Austria, I'd like to get France. Burgundy is essentially a non-issue at this point. <clears throat> I don't think it's been 50 years since the Iberian Wedding yet. Ottomans are occupying Castile? What? Hmm. And the Ottomans are strong. Drunk. Amy is fighting Hungary. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. So, Bohemian made Hungary release Ragusa. Is there. Okay. Interesting. Papal states are eating up eating up Italy a little bit. Uh hey, we're Pope we're Papal controller again. Good for us. Cool. Wow, only twenty five. That's awesome. Uh, good. Well speaking of, who can we excommunicate? Uh who do you hate? I would really like to excommunicate somebody useful. Uh Gallery, potentially. It'd be fun. Brunswick would be the, my number one choice. Hansa. Ooh. Hmm. 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 But you know, in Venice have worked their way back up. Oh, why not? Let's excommunicate the Hansa. We have the power. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Tiny little one province douchebags. Papal actions. Where's my, where's my diplomat? There he is. Excommunicate. <laughs> That's right. Uh, cool. So, actually, that seems like a pretty good place to wrap this one up, guys. We've excommunicated the Hansa. We are Papal Controller again. Um, oh, Brunswick caught us. Okay, whatever. Um, who could we potentially make friends with? I don't want to. I don't want to vassalize Saxony. It's a huge malice here because. Uh, they are an elector. That piss people off. Everybody's voting for Austria. Jeebus. Um, Trier likes us. An ally with Trier. They're far enough away. So to get Germany, though, what do I need for Germany? I'm just curious. Um, oh, yeah. Chelno is Polish. How much would that be? I'll have to see. Um, for Germany, we need... Lundberg, we're going to get um, Brunswick, Anhalt, Saxony, Leipzig, Thuring, and Nuremberg. So Leipzig, Thuring, Brunswick, Lundberg. I think, I think Anhalt was on there. And Nuremberg. So potentially, if we fought Brunswick, we could take some of that stuff, but we couldn't take it all at once. That would be a big deal. Um... Pretty good here. But yeah, okay, so let's get that out of the way. Good. Production efficiency up by 10. That's really good. Next one will allow us to get a new idea, which will probably take a admin idea at that point. 
So lots of uh, lots of things to do. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just going to top off relations with Trier and I guess Hesse as well. Who else is an elector? Palatinate. Tus Tuscany. Weird. So we're going to improve relations with Trier. Denmark hates us. Let's just top off that anyway. I can't believe there's not Hanoverian rebels, rebels that we can't uh, poke at. All right, cool, guys. So we'll wrap this one up here. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again in part eight. Adios.